Welcome to Loving Life with Lane. projecting things onto us that we are not responsible for. They have their own demons, they have their own issues, um, whether it be self-esteem, whether it be mental health, and sometimes it can be people, it's not just like friends or co-workers or people, sometimes it's right in your own family, your own household. Um, and you have to be able to have the spirit um the holy spirit to rightly divine the truth between when you're receiving feedback that someone's bringing to your attention that you need to work on um you know self-improvement because the largest room in the world is the room for improvement right we all know that so we can um work on the things that we need to improve but when someone is projecting onto you uh, when someone is telling you your let's fill in the blank your your um mean or your aggressive or something yeah all if, if someone is calling you those things or um uh, all in the name of because you're holding them accountable for the things that they're doing um then you know that that's not constructive criticism or positive feedback what that is is you know <laughs> you're dealing with a, a a spirit that doesn't want you to hold it accountable for what it is that they're doing um so or the person doesn't want to be held accountable for their behavior and their choices so then therefore they project onto you and deflect from their behavior so um lovelies i just want you to be mindful um, watch people watch what they say and how they do don't respond to everything um and but if somebody is getting to the point of trying to um, belittle you disrespect you um use that assertiveness to put to let them know that that's not okay and it's not happening with you okay um it's okay to set healthy boundaries it's okay to not allow anything like just allow anything to go right um because people will use you as a doormat and use every excuse in the book they will talk about their broken childhood they will talk about their abusive relationship they will use whatever excuse that they possibly can to justify why that why they are mistreating you and treating you the way that they are treating you and talking to you crazy and sideways or mistreating you um Especially, you know, anyone who's been in, um, you know, some of my friends have been in abusive relationships and situations and things like that. Everybody has a story. Everyone has an excuse as to why they could go about mistreating somebody. I could come up with a, a dozen of them. However, I will not justify me mistreating someone just because I'm going through something. So, lovelies, all I'm saying is, you know, you are worth more than that. You deserve more than that. Um, you deserve the same respect and love and care that you somebody would want to receive, right? The same person that's pushing that onto you, they will want better for from you. So, you should expect better from them as well. That's all I have for you today, lovelies. I'm kind of on the road on the way to an appointment but i just wanted to leave that uh lane's love language with you um keep living life limit limitlessly and stay blessed see you next week mm -hmm.